Yes, sir. Thank you for taking up your time for me, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm Madhulata. I completed my graduation in the stream of BAC Computer Science from Yamaha University with its GDP 8.80. Mm -hmm. Coming to my achievements, I was selected in CSR, right? Then I completed my digital marketing course also. Recently, I have done a project, a hostel inventory manager. By using Python and MySQL, I did, I did that. Mm -hmm. You know Python, Django, MySQL, right? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Uh, tell me, uh, tell me something about Django. What, why do you want to use Django? Yes, sir. To, to combine front end and back end to create web applications, we use Django. Okay. What do you mean front end? What do you mean back end? Front end is, uh, is like UI, sir. What uh, users is seeing the data in the format. And that is front end. Back end is what we write the logic behind the behind that front end operations. Good, good. So what is the use of ORM in the Django? Yes, sir. ORM stands for Object Relational Mapper. It is used to connect with the database. By using ORM, we can write Python queries that can be converted into database language. Okay, good. So what are the relationships we are having in uh, models, computer models? Yes, sir. One to one relationship, one to many relationship, many to many relationship. How we can keep them in the models? How we can you know, establish them in between the models? Relationship. How we can? For example, we take um, employee table and for it, employee table and department table. We can give department number here. We can give department by using uh, a class name. We can do. Okay, for the class name. Yes. Very good. Very good. So tell me, what are the different types of inheritance you have in models? Yes, sir. In model inheritance, there are three types of inheritance: proxy model inheritance, abstract model inheritance, multi-table inheritance. So what is the session? A session is the temporary memory area in the server. If we want the arbitrary data, we can use session. Mm -hmm. That is taking care by session middleware. Okay, very good, very good. So, how, what is the use of, what is the difference between function-based reviews and class-based reviews? Yes sir, in function-based reviews, we have, we will uh, define post and get methods differently by using decision-making statements. Uh, but in class-based reviews, we write different methods. And in function based reviews, there is no code reusability. In class based reviews, we can inherit classes and we can do code reusability. Okay. What do you mean of API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. It is used to create um, JAWS and type of data to interchange the data between two applications. Very good. So, how do we create APIs in Java? In yes, the REST framework. Yes, sir. In the REST framework. Okay. That will be clear for you. Very good. So, what do you know about uh, ReactJS? I know basic. No worries. Coming back to MySQL. Okay. So, how much you rate yourself in MySQL out of it? Four. Four. Okay. Can you please explain me about the explain me about the cursors? Yes, sir. Yes. If you want to write on something like this. Hmm. First, tell me the purpose of cursor. Okay, sir. Cursor is used to create some temporary memory area to store the data, sir. Very good. Very good. So you are fetching the data from table and keeping the yes, cursor? Yes sir, first we open table. the cursor by defining cursor uh, cursor and cursor name. After that we open the cursor and we fetch all the details we want from the cursor and we close the cursor. Very good. Very good. What do you mean of subquery? Query inside another query is nothing but subquery. What is the necessity of subquery? If we want to get some value by defining uh, multiple queries is not a good idea. So we write query inside another query. Very good. So how many types of subqueries are there? There are two types of subqueries, normal subqueries, correlated subqueries. Very good. So what do you mean of joins? Joins is used to retrieve data from multiple tables. Good. So why do we generally store the data in multiple tables? If, if we have multiple data in one table, the, the data will be duplicated. Okay. okay. Good. So all these things you have to be perfect practically. Now I'm not making you write practically. So you have to be perfect, practically perfect. Coming to the Python, tell me what do you mean of abstraction? Hiding implementation from outside the world is nothing but abstraction. What is the use of it? Yes, sir. If we, we can show only function names to user and we can write a functionality behind the scenes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.